Welcome Libra to your January 2022 love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we are going to be looking into your situation with you and your person, what's coming towards you, the challenges and what you don't see coming and the potential future. Can I already say that? Sorry. <laughs> we will be getting into your person's true feelings though, uh, using the untold messages of the heart. And then we'll clarify some cards for you guys, okay? Your cards have already been shuffled. I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle the soul cards, Tarot. Okay, one more. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what is coming in for Libra. I hope everybody is doing well. We have the Seven of Rings in reverse, which is the Seven of Pentacles. We have the World in reverse. Ooh, the Ace of Cups. I love it. Bottom of the deck is the Spirit of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Wands in reverse. So all reverse and the Four of Cups. You know, I love that the Four of Cups is in reverse. Um, and I'll tell you why in a minute because it's, it's actually really awesome. Keep in mind this reading may not resonate, again, with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. We have the Eight of Swords in your energy. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming in here. It doesn't have to be. Um, the Ace of Cups energy is coming in in the challenge. And then we do have the Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, the Empress, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Seven of Swords in the outcome. We have the Moon and the High Priestess and the King of Swords. Okay, so we have Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be you or you could be dealing with another one. We do have the Eight of Cups and the World and Justice. Okay, big messages here. Okay, Libra, so we definitely have something here with the Ace of Swords, which is showing that there's not enough clarity, okay? There could be something that has to do with communication or wanting to speak your truth here, but I do feel with the Nine of Swords energy, it could be like a lot is going on, okay? But what this card also re represents is that this too shall pass. Then we have the Nine of Wands energy coming in in the reverse, which is stating that you are persevering, like standing strong. Um, I feel like it's more of a test of strength here, but I feel like there's a lot of buildup. So something could be feeling like things are not going in the right direction, but still could be investing your time in something. But we have the Four of Cups again, which I love is because it's more of stating that this is you coming out of any emotional conflict and choosing yourself choosing happiness what makes libra happy so the four of cups i feel is your energy and it's really beautiful to have because we do have this ace of cups coming in but we have some challenges um, with this ace of cups so the world is in reverse so something hasn't quite yet closed um, within a situation or a cycle hasn't um, completely closed yet and i feel is because of and possibly all this mental conflict or feeling I'm not knowing which direction to take the moon is here which is stating that your intuition is here there could be something nudging you with this moon card um, because your intuition is here with the high priestess which means that you're spiritually wise and your intuition's at play there could be some nudges feeling things that you haven't even seen yet Okay, so the moon is all about things that are happening behind the scenes, things that have not yet been revealed, but about to be revealed. Um, we do have this eight of swords, so this could be feeling a bit stuck in your mind when making a decision, which makes sense, right? Um, you could, again, could be investing in something or doing something that 
you feel like you're just needing to break away from or break free from for your happiness. So something could be holding you back a bit. Now there is an energy that wants some type of commitment here. We do have the King of Pentacles. So someone very solid um, are wanting to be solid with you um, and very committal. There, there's just this energy of somebody wanting you in their life. But the challenge is actually like love. Um, is this a new beginning in love? Is this something that can be a relationship or be something more? Uh, I feel like it's a bit confused because there's no clarity on what this situation is because the love, like relationships, uh, the connection um, is in the challenge. So there is some type of soulmate connection here, a deep, strong connection. As we have here with the Ten of Pentacles, again, it could be like feeling like you're in a relationship with this person, with this Ten of Pentacles, but the love could be gone, okay? Or this could be like, what's next in the relationship? There is uh, the magician. So someone's definitely manifesting you and looking at you as the empress. So somebody wants to plan something with you or bring something to life because they are seeing you as this goddess of the deck, which I'm sure you are, right? That's how you're coming up in the reading and that's how they're viewing you. And the empress could be a mother, but she's all about, or a parent, but she's all about unconditional love. Okay, this is someone who is nurturing, caring, and loving, full of abundance. And I feel like they do, somebody does want to come in with an emotional offer, but then we have something here with the Seven of Swords. Someone may not have the best intentions, or someone could have cheated or lied, okay? But we do have this Cancer Scorpio Pisces coming in also. So um, I see a lot of energies. We have the King of Swords. I mean, this could definitely be yours. But maybe somebody that walked away here, or you might be walking away from someone and closing out a chapter and just trusting your intuition and going to the unknown. Because that's what it feels like. I feel like you're walking away or emotionally detaching someone and feeling that need to choose yourself to more go towards the moon. Which like, I don't know what's over there in the moon, but I know I'm not really happy in this situation. Okay, so that's the energy I'm feeling, especially with this high priestess, because the world is here twice, but something hasn't been let go of yet. Like something hasn't fully completed. So again, we do have the seven of swords. So let's go ahead and clarify and see what um, else we can get for you guys. So let's go ahead and get this moon energy. This is more of the unknown things that are happening behind the scenes. Yeah, friendship, community, happiness. See, and that's that four of cups. It's like you're choosing happiness. And this is like a leap of faith of some sort. Okay, we don't have the fool, but it's like, yeah, because we have victory, wanting success, six of wands. Could be a lot of attraction here with somebody um let's get this eight of swords energy anger impulsiveness recklessness so you're coming up as a knight of <laughs> knight of wands but well, the energy that i'm feeling here is that this could be feeling forced to make a decision quickly okay and this could be weighing really heavy on your mind or you could feel like you're needing to do something okay but i feel with this energy is you're already kind of on your way like making a decision without you even really knowing it i feel because your intuition is here and it's kind of pushing you anyways to the moon like your intuition's all over this place so um i feel like you already know the answers but there could be something that is very hard before pursuing something else so let's get this king of pentacles energy whoa sorry about that we have the page of wands someone's very curious excited wants to explore with you this is about a feeling of freedom so this energy is really wanting to come in there's a lot of attraction here and then we have the king of swords no direction unpredictable okay disregard of the consequences so there could be a feeling of like i don't know where this is going either that's what I'm feeling with this ace of love. Like it's kind of like, it's kind of that energy of, we like being around each other. We like hanging out with each other, but we don't know where this is going. Like how far can this go, right? Let's see the ace of cups energy. 
sorry, I landed on my arm. Yeah, there's something here with the love connection or something within love that feels dissatisfied. Okay. This could be somebody completely new also or someone you're leaving behind or someone you're with. But either way, it feels like something is unhappy here. But we do have the Ace of Cups that flipped upright. So it's like something hasn't closed, but something wants to begin. Let's see. Ten of a Pentacles energy. So Hermit. Work without results, distraction, no rewards. I feel like you you gain a lot of wisdom within the situation with the Hermit card. Something could have not worked out that you put all of your effort in, possibly in the past or something here. But also there's, there's some type of distraction that I feel like you're withdrawing yourself so you can better align your mind, body, and soul and listen to your, your inner wisdom here because you're very spiritual. Okay, I feel that very much so. This feels like a very um, confusing reading for me, so I do apologize if I'm jumping all over. But um, I feel like there's just an energy that wants you and an energy that you want, but there's like a feeling of holding you back. And then there's there's like love, like new love and then old love. So that's what I'm, I'm trying to separate from. So again, take what resonates. <laughs> Let's get the uh, Magician. Loss of self. Okay, the High Priestess is in reverse with the self-control. So I feel like somebody either could have lost themselves within the situation. There could have been some secrets here. But somebody's wanting to move forward. But the High Priestess is in reverse. So there's something that is like holding down the emotion it's like i want to move forward but there's something here that could be pulling you back here okay or someone could be pulling you back um i'm feeling this is their per your person's energy because there's wanting to take action rapid action quick movement okay to you but they could be feeling something here or this could be feeling like they're not sure how you feel Okay, they're not able to read you. Let's see the Empress. The Eight of Cups. Walking away, leaving something behind. Somebody could be really, really holding on to you here. But the Eight of Cups is here. And I feel like it has to do with this Four of Cups of you choosing something. Like choosing this unity or this happiness or this new love possibly okay or someone else that's coming in the picture but we'll see what's this king of yeah the king of cups and an air sign so we do have the king of cups uh cancer scorpio pisces and we have gemini libra aquarius i feel like this is you i feel like somebody either lied cheated here with the seven of swords um, but you're really being cold to this water sign. Um, it doesn't have to be a water sign. I'm just feeling like this energy that you don't see coming. I feel like you're. this is the one that could be holding you back from making decisions. Um, or this is the one that you're trying to let go of here. Okay, but you're being very truth and honest with them. And you're very clear. Uh, let's see. Let's see the Seven of Swords. We have you taking a leap of faith, lack of commitment, laziness, and greed, giving up lack of confidence, overwhelm. This person could have made a lot of mistakes and they lack that commitment here with the 10 of pentacles as to why I feel like you put all your effort in something and they, and something happened with the seven of swords to where now you're seeing that they're not that the, the commitment type in a way. Okay. Um, this person could be giving up or feeling really shameful, um, overwhelmed, but I feel like you're more going in a different direction. And I feel like somebody here is really wanting to start something, wanting to come towards you. And I feel like you are choosing you and what makes Libra happy and not caring about what anybody thinks. You could be newly single here with the nine of rings too. Um, 
are feeling single or independent here. Let's see. I want to see the untold messages of the heart. Let's see what this person has to say. I feel like you're cutting somebody off. You're being cold to someone. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Jealousy. I feel like you've been mo you've moved on without me and that's difficult for me to see. So we have somebody that is a bit possessive over you here. Um, maybe not telling you, but secretly jealous that you could be going towards something else. We do have absence. As more time passes by, I feel a deeper void without you in my life. Yeah, someone is feeling your absence. Why? Question mark. I don't know what has happened between us. If you're confused, I'm confused too. And we have stubborn. Dot, dot, dot. And on the bottom of the deck, we have surrender. I can't be apart from you much longer. And don't go. Don't give up on me yet. I'm scared to lose you. Well, if there was any cheating or lying within the situation, especially if there's been multiple mistakes, I feel like if they're saying that I'm scared to lose you, then if they were so scared, they wouldn't have done that, right? That's like the, I mean, that's kind of like common sense. So I feel like with this energy is just like very frustrating, okay? Um, there's something here that has to do with either a separation, a commitment, um, and I feel like you're more pulling away, but it is kind of hard to leave the situation. Um, but now I do see that there is, there's more of like wanting to close out a chapter here and more and like willing to risk it and see what's happening behind, like in the moon, like trusting your intuition and taking that leap of faith to the unknown, okay? And allowing it to guide you here, which is very brave, very brave. Okay, let's see. Let's get the lovers of oracles. We have soulmate. You already, your soulmate is already with you. We have romance, Cupid, arrow, strikes. We have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. Um, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, dream, and imagine. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys for mid-January. God bless.